Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play, Part 33. So, several things to go over first before I begin. First of all, as it is January 1st, Happy New Year to all who care. Uh, second, I got a comment pointing out that if my dog is incapacitated, I can't ride him. And if he sets to aggressive, he will have probably run off and fight enemies and so forth, which is not, which is stuff I had thought of. And so I'm sending him back to docile because my thought had been if I get into combat with a skeleton or a zombie, he can help me out. But it's the whole auto aggro thing that I had forgotten about. Let's put that back there. Uh, second thing is, you'll notice I did do some enchanting. I, um, I enchanted my sword, and what I did is I ran outside and killed a few zombies right at dawn so I wouldn't be out there too long in the dark. And when I enchanted my sword, I got Bane of Anthropods, which basically means anti-spider. Which is convenient because down in my mob grinder area, I have those spider spawners. So I stood there, killed spiders for a while, and I enchanted all my stuff. I've got protection, and then amusingly, the backpack worked, and I only ever got protection. I got a bit of a fire protection, actually, though, and I've got projectile protection, so that's good. You'll notice I have 150 plus 19, so 169... UUM, uh, UUM, matter, whatever. So that's good. Um, my, I'm going for like 270, I believe, last I checked. I, have to, I haven't done the math in a while, but I believe it's like 270. So, yeah. It's definitely going to be a while before I have all that. Everything else, you'll notice I've got a ton of stuff in my inventory, is because as I was looking at the stuff I had, I realized that I only had 34 iron left. And I realized that I was going to have to build my quarry first. Well, not my quarry, but as you'll notice, I've got the quarry down there, and I've got the landmark stuff all figured out. But I realized that, I do that, that quite simply, I don't have enough iron to build a quantum suit, which is kind of amusing to me. So I've got all the power I need. So, as you can see here, I built several more um, towers. I have seven full towers now, plus a few more water mills, which are generated after that. And then, also, while I was cleaning around, I noticed that I had red stuff dripping through that block up there. So, I dug up here to investigate, and sure enough, lava. So, I'll just do this real quick. I left it as lava to show it before I made it all obsidian. Oops, now it's really dark. I could be wrong, but I think this is only about one block deep. I don't need obsidian, so I'm going to leave it as it is there. Right here. Okay. So. Alright, so I built this room here. So. Right. First thing I need to do is build the stuff I need. So let's start with um, I'm going to need a lot of gears. So yeah, mm, that that build four gears. Uh, and then four stone gears, like so. Actually no, I only want two iron gears. Two iron gears like that. And I'll need an iron pickaxe. Oops, didn't mean that. <laughs> like I said, my inventory is really, really stuffed right now. Okay, iron pickaxe. Yeah, I need to pick up that iron again. There we go. And then I built a mining well like this. 
go. One mining well. And then I use the glass. Build a tank. Put that there, put that there. That builds me my pump. Let's see. Now I'm going to put the water here. Oh yeah, I also should my point out I gave my diamond drill efficiency one, which since it's infinite is rather convenient. Because it's never gonna wear out, and so I haven't been able to determine whether it really has increased its speed or not. It's kinda hard to tell. I think it did though. Alright, so now we do that. Cycle through here. Yep. Because what I did not want to do was um put that like that. I have to keep running back and forth between my base and where I was trying to work. And so I said, alright. I'm going to figure out everything I need and put it all in my inventory and then never need to leave my base again. Or never need to go anywhere again. So that's what I'm trying to do. Um, alright, so now I need to build the engines. So let's see. Two st actually, before I can get the stone gears, I need to do... Uh, let's see. Like this. And like this. Like that. And like that. There we go. Two pistons. Put those there. Actually, I have to... Yeah. No, I need that. There we go. Alright. Piston. Iron gear. Where's my other iron gear? Are they only... Hmm. Alright, I'll do this one first then. Like that. Like that. That, 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 and that. Steam engine. Very good. And then... Uh, let's see. I guess, perhaps, I don't have as many iron gears as I thought. Well, I must not have, because if I did, I'd pick it up, so... I'm missing an iron gear. Very, very strange. Hmm. Oh well. I just uh I'm gonna just make another one. Uh where'd my cobblestone go? Yeah. Two iron gears, like that, like that, like that, like that. Combustion engine. So now, let's see, I need to pick up my wood again. Um. Hmm. Well, I know. I'll place my redstone torch because I only need that. I'll need that, but I'll need it later. So, so this way I can place these two. There we go. So I'll just sort of place them there like that. Alright, ditch the dirt. I don't need that. Uh, ditch the sticks. I'd rather have the wood. Okay. So now, I'll have the pump to bring in water. So let's see, I'll put the steam engine like that good that will bring out the water to get the water to where it needs to go like that let's see alright so 
So that will pump out the water. And then I need to place my... Let's see, I actually need to run back to my base after all. Because I forgot one tiny little detail. So grab that. Run back to where my base is. Because... Oh yeah, that reminds me. So, you're wondering about this dirt, right? Well, this dirt is the result of Enderman. Yes, Enderman. Ever since I've upgraded, I've had a real problem with Enderman and slimes. For some reason, despite being literally one torch every diagonal block, Enderman enjoy spawning in there. I've had I had an Enderman spawn in there and an Enderman spawn by my mass fabricator. But I get slimes in here all the time. Oh, 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 that's perfect timing. Check that out. And he killed himself. How oh, nice. But yeah, I get slimes in here all the time. Big slimes too. You know, the two and a half size, two and a half block high slimes. And to give you an idea here, come over here to my slime chest. A lot of slimes. So, yeah. So I actually. It's not on peaceful anymore, I have it back on hard, but I was leaving it on overnight and coming back and finding dirt all over my base. So, I actually set it to peaceful just so that it stopped spotting in my base while I was gone. But anyway, in fact, I actually have a couple clips of my killing Enderman, so while I figure out what I've done wrong with my inventory and rearrange it and make it all look nice again, why don't you watch those? Alright, so I was over here putting some tin ore on the macerators when I heard the sound of an enderman teleporting, and after some very careful not looking, yeah, okay, first I have had so many slimes in spawning in the caves around my base and in my base, in my tree farm, I had a skeleton spawn in my tree, this is utterly ridiculous. Enderman? Really? I mean, I get that the area is three high tall, but where could it have spawned? Are you trying to tell me that it's really that dark in here? So, anyway. <coughs> and no pearl. Bummer. Oh well. Fortunately, they're relatively easy to kill. But still, this is just not fun. Don't want Endermen spawning in my base. Anyway, on with the show. <coughs> okay, so I think I have the rest of the stuff I need. Incidentally, about the cactus, I need that to make waterproof piping, and so you, what you do is you smelt it up and it turns into cactus green, and then you use that, that, and you just, that turns into pipe waterproof. And that's how you make waterproof piping, which I'll bake in a minute. Um, so yeah, what I need to do, I figured out, so first I have to do this, make those, make that, because I remembered that I'll also will need an advanced machine block. So now I can do this. But that, 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 that there. That, that, two of these. I also need to do like that. And actually, I need to do more than that. I need to do like four, I believe. Yeah. I'll start with... No, that's right, I only need three. Yeah, three should do it. Okay. Alright, I can't pick it up. Alright, so then we take that. Actually, I need the iron first. Right, okay. So I take the iron. Go like that. 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 Make the mixed metal ingots. 
the mixed metal ingots on the compressor. Meanwhile, grab some more stuff because I remember yet another thing I forgot. Uh, uh, uh. Once I get it all done, it's going to look great. It's the getting it to the done state that's going to be a challenge. Alright, so then like that, like that. No, I only want the one. Like that, that one like this. And now I can finally go that, combustion engine, electronic, oh wait, I forgot a step. Ugh. I think I forgot a step. It's going to be the, my most commonly used phrase this video. I forgot another step. Ugh. All right, like that and that cobblestone around like this, like the furnace, furnace machine block, battery generator, advanced machine block, e reader, or not e reader, uh, electronic circuit, combustion engine. Yay! Large electric engine finally, and inventory space. All right. Um. Now for the other one. Uh, let's see. I needed to make another battery. Like that. Like that. Like that. You know what? Never mind. I'm not even gonna say it this time. There you go. Battery, furnace, machine block, generator, uh, small electric engine, tin. There we go. Alright. Very good. Now, let's see. For the other thing I need, let's see. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I hope and I think that that's everything I need. All right, so now we go this way. There's a certain um, right? Doink. That that's already locked. So I'll go ahead and grab this too. I don't have enough. Um, stuff to build any more glass fiber cables, specifically diamonds. So I'm going to pick up all these glass fiber cables and use them to get the power over the quarry. What's in here? Nah, not much. Alright, so grab that. Grab all this. Like that. That like that. Okay, bring it over to here. And then I split the wire. Actually, no, I want to split it there. You go over there. Like so. And then I take my large electric engine, place you there. Very good. Let's see. We'll need a couple switches. Place you like that. Good, that works. And then I actually don't want the quarry there. Hmm, can't pick it up. I want the filler there. Like so. Which I actually, I'll have to pick that up again in a second. Alright, so put that there, that there. Am I going to have enough? I hope so. Low voltage transformer there. There we go. Perfect. That worked out perfectly. Alright, good. 
and over there. Mm. Also, no, I'll just see here. Put that there, and that like that. I guess this will work. Oh shoot! Give me that. I decided to rather have it closer to the wall anyway. And it's running. I don't want that, so turn it off. Now, that will pump water out, but for the water, I'll need, let's see, I'll build, actually, actually they should build that eight times, yeah, okay, so there we go, all I need is that, put that there, that there, that makes one wooden waterproof pipe, put that like so, and then one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I put eleven there, like that, like that. There. Once I put the quarry, no, not the quarry. <laughs> um. I need a couple more. There we go. It's kind of awkward to get to back to here to push the button, but it will work. Well, I suppose I could just route it to the ceiling like this. Great, where did I break into now? Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's my uh, power plant room. That's fine, I suppose. Yeah, that's actually somewhat convenient there. But uh, yeah, I think put that there, that there. That there, and that there, and then connect that like that. There we go. That's better. So now, turn this on. Very good. That should pump out like so. Pick up the dirt because I don't like the sound it makes as I walk on it. We'll let that run for a bit to fill up. Oh wait, I'm missing. Missing a piece. And put that there we go. So now it should fill that up. That will give it time to fill that up while I sort out the filler. Alright, so I need block there. block like that, but not like that, so I can keep track of it. Okay, put another one here, like so. Pick up my redstone torch. One like that. Now I gotta run all the way this way. Place another landmark. And this should be it, right? Yep, this is the maximum it can go. Okay, so now I've created a 2D square. So now I need to go all the way back here. turn and go all the way this way. Hm. That's funny. Uh, oh, wait, wait. There we go. 
and plunk this down like like so and very good so now I have a three-dimensional cube that's really really big and it's actually the maximum size that a filler or a builder or that you can set up with landmarks so now if I come back over here thank you take that come back over here and plunk down a filler good it accepted that so now I give it the template I want which in this case is to empty things out and now, in theory, okay, that's running. If I flip this switch, this will kick on the high gear, and the filler will go crazy fast and clean up that all the blocks I told it to clean. So, let's hope this works. Okay, there it goes. And let's see, I actually need to be down there somehow. Okay, it is working. Yeah, this thing goes really fast. So that's good. Okay, so I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I've basically created a really big darkroom trap. And I've got a lot <coughs> of mobs down here. Creepers, zombies, skeletons. Oops. So, um, both really dark and very laggy. I'm obviously not going to record this, but I just wanted to try and at least get a little bit of all these mobs on camera. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. So, in case there's any doubt, I'm definitely getting new mobs in here. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to think that there's really not much point in my trying to kill them. Um, I think it'd be better waiting till the filler is done, and then, uh, plunking down torches everywhere. Which, that raises an interesting question, how I'm gonna get this area lit? I think I'm gonna have to put torches in the ceiling. Because, remember, I'm going to have the quarry. I won't be able to put torches on the floor. And the walls, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. So I'll have to see how it goes, but I'm definitely getting new mobs down here. Okay, so the filler finally finished. And, as you can still kind of see, I've got a ton of mobs out there. Um, and I'm level 22, so I've been killing them as they get near my base, and they're in my way, and stuff like that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Um... It was pretty uneventful, except for one moment where a uh, creeper managed to blow up my filler and I had to build a new one. But other than that, but that's okay because I had the resources to buy it. And I dug this little side tunnel because I had to replace the uh, landmarks. And so with this tunnel and the upper pathway over there, I'm I'm able to get to the the, to the corners I need to get to in order to make this work without too much trouble. I killed one of the Endermen, didn't drop a pearl. The other one disappeared, and I think I had seen a third one. I'll have to review the footage, but um, I only killed one. The others disappeared on their own. Hmm. Maybe I should probably... Gonna, this is in my way now, so I'm going to put this up here. So I'm about ready to start up the fill the um the quarry. Before I do that, I do want to get rid of the um mobs out there. And to do that, I'm gonna need light. And so to to light the area up, I'm going to take advantage of the arrows part of the ropes mod. Because I didn't mention it in the last part, and, but I said it in the description. <laughs> it's got a comment on one of my videos. The, um, that, uh, sorry, I got totally distracted. Um, 
Right, ropes mod. Um, one of the things you can do in the ropes mod is you can make special arrows. And these special arrows don't, um, well, they do damage, sure, but they do other stuff as well. For example, the arrows I'm going to make now have a very, very, oops, that, useful effect. of being torch arrows. So now I can come out here kill a couple zombies and now I can just shoot torches light this whole area up. <laughs> and then if they hit an enemy, they light them on fire. So it's this little side bonus. You might notice I have a new sword. I um, made it from industrial diamonds. I simply needed a sword. And my old sword. I still have my old sword. But I... Um, that is the problem, of course, it still drops the torches, so. Um, I still have my old sword, I just don't want it, didn't want it to break while I'm in here. So. I'm gonna light, oh, there's the Enderman. I'm gonna light this area all up, kill all the Endermen. And everything else around here. Alright. Um, and then once everything's killed and nothing's spawning, then I'll turn the quarry on. Okay, so, after killing them for a while, I have determined that even though I've got all those torches, it's simply not bright enough. Even though I don't see how they could be spawning, I'm still getting fresh spawns. So, the rate has definitely slowed, but, like, I'll be on one side of the room, I'll see one more enemy in the entire room on the other side, so I'll run over, kill it, turn around, there'll be five creepers, three skeletons, two spiders, a zombie, and an enderman. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna proceed onwards. Um, something kind of annoying is my nano suit disappeared, like, just poof, gone. So, I'm gonna call that one a bug and uh, give myself another uncharged one because it depleted its charge and then it just flat out disappeared so there we go this looks like it's charged hmm. ah well I suppose whether it's charged or not doesn't really matter seeing as I have the enough power to charge it so, and I would have charged it if it hadn't disappeared on me, so, whatever. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the quarry up to the chest. Okay, so now I should put everything, put those three things into blue, these two chests, and then I can add more chests that way. And everything else will go into those chests so I can add more as needed. Okay, but this will get it started, so I'm going to come over here. Oops. And. Oh, yeah, seal the floor. I knew I was forgetting something. Although, actually, I kind of need to be able to see this to make sure it works. Okay. Turn it on, then seal the floor. Alright. Go. Yep, there's a frame. Yeah, so it looks like it's working. It's almost done. And there. And there it begins. So any moment now, blocks will start coming out. Yep. 
Yep, there they go. Alright, so I'm just gonna take care of that one slime, because there's a slime over there. It looks like it's stuck in the bean. The bean frame. Okay. That's taken care of. Let's head on back. out nice and slow. Get the gold pipe, blast through. Okay. So now I can seal this. And now it just works. Awesome is that. Right, so it's at level 40, and bedrock is going to be down, way down. Here, let's see. It's at level 40, and I want it to dig down to level 19. Beyond that, it's probably, but I'm not probably gonna let it dig down all the way to six. So, oh, slime in my ladder. So that's pretty cool. It's probably gonna be a long time before it gets, you know, that far down. But it looks like it's good to go. It should run just fine. So. I guess I'll uh, end the video here and uh, let it run for a while. So I guess I'll see you in the next video.